Good morning friends, it's another beautiful day on the van and I've got my cup of tea because that's what builders have. When I got this plumbing installation kit I opened the box and then just like shoved it to the side because I was like nah I'll work that out another day and apparently today is that day. It's a very very simple setup but I've made it a little bit more complicated for myself because I'm not having one of the combination units with a hob and a sink um, which a lot of camper vans have because I want my hob to be portable so I can cook outside because I can't even stand up in here. Plus I wanted a matte, pla a matte black tap um, and this lovely bowl which I found which I'm going to make into a basin. But now I kind of know roughly how it works I can design my kind of kitchen unit so it's going to be in line with the cupboard there's going to be one big shelf along the top and then a double door cupboard um, for storage although there's not going to be a great deal of storage because the water tanks are in there but there will be enough for pots and pans and a few bits and bobs and food so I'm going to get drawing designing and get myself down to B&Q again to get what I need it's all going wrong today um, spent about an hour in B&Q in the plumbing aisle um, choosing the right connector and ended up getting the wrong one so that was cool but I've also got um, a load of wood and MDF to start building the framework uh, for the kitchen unit so I'm going to get on with that now because then I feel like I've at least done something today let's hope this goes right though it's going to start raining in a minute isn't it I do realise I look like a poodle right now. I am um, I am aware of this. So I've been trying to build my kitchen unit uh, for a couple of days. I did nearly stamp on it a few times and throw it over into the neighbour's garden and then I just thought, you know, that's really not going to help the situation. So I took a break, carried on. Still a bit of a way to go, but I'm getting there now. It, 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 it looks the right shape, you know. absolute state of me um i've been working really hard so i thought i'd come and update you whilst the glue is setting on the trims which is why it's all held in place here um this is the update on the kitchen unit i've put in a shelf today which has got a trim at the back and i've put a little trim around the top shelf as well because obviously when i put things on there it might move a little bit and i don't want it to fall out or anything so keep everything nice and secure um really happy with it i'm going to paint the front white just the bits that are going to be seen um, the side I'm going to varnish um, I'm just about to cut the worktop and oh the sides cladded by the way and um, I need to make some doors because this is going to be a little double door setup. big old job but get in there right old mess but all of this I've got to tidy up in a minute I've done a lot today we've started painting and varnishing I've made some shelves I've made some holes for the tap and the basin waste which is very exciting I've painted my doors um, 
and I've cut some dowel as well for the shelves which are gonna look mighty pretty oh, I just literally cannot wait to put it all together now can I do that please So this is going to be the most basic plumbing setup you have probably ever seen in your life. But it's going to work for me, if it works. Under here I've got two 12 litre water tanks, one for clean water and one for grey water. At the back, let me undo it. Now this is obviously not set up and the hoses are all the wrong length and everything, but I need to do that when it's in. So inside the tank is a water pump, okay? Um, which is going to be connected to the hose, this hose, which goes through here. Um, this is the electrical wire for the water pump. This hose then goes to this pressure switch because I didn't want kind of a micro switch tap because they're just not very pretty and I wanted pretty, um, which means I had to get this. So this basically makes the pump work hard, I think. Um, so this needs to be attached to the back of the unit back here. So again, the clean water hose goes through one end, out the other, okay? Simple as that, she says. And this hose continues up to the tap, which is a bit, you can see it there, it's a bit saggy at the moment because it hasn't got its weight on it. Then, obviously it goes into the basin, um, through the waste basin. Then I've got a flexible hose connector under here, which I'm just gonna connect to this other hose, which then, this is a lot more simple goes into there so basically the clean water goes from that tank out there down there into that tank which I then dispose of and refill the clean water <laughs> so the exposed wires are already in place ready to be connected and they are connected to my leisure battery uh, via a fuse and another switch on my little switch panel <sighs> every day is a school day so this is the last you are going to see of the conversion until the big reveal. I've shown you all the big bits and bobs that I've done, all the builds and everything. Everything else now is just kind of making it look pretty, which I cannot wait for. So I'm going to end this episode here and hopefully the next episode will be the big reveal and I will give you a full van tour. I can't believe I've got to this point. I literally cannot believe it. Please subscribe um, and then you will definitely see the final video, which I assume is what everyone's been waiting for. Peace and love. Let's get plumbing.